question one express as rupees using decimals so we have to convert pesos into rupees you have to remember this conversion factor one rupee equals 200 pesa based upon this we will do all of them but remember one thing we have to convert pesos into rupees therefore we have to write one pesos equal to one over 100 rupees Remember this conversion factor. So, we'll try to do all of them. So, 5 pesa would be how much rupees? 5 into 1 over 100. That could also be written as 5 over 100. This gives us rupees 0 0.05. Always remember to write units because it's important to write units, otherwise, it's incomplete. 75 over 100, similarly, as we did in A part, would give you rupees 0 0.75 rupees. C part 20 over 100 would give you 00, zero get cancels out, it gives you 0 0.2 rupees. D part 50 plus 90 pesa. We will not disturb 50 because it's already written in terms of rupees. We'll have to convert 90 only. So it gives us 50.9 rupees. The last part, the E part. Seven twenty-five over hundred would give you seven point two five rupees. That makes your question number first. Express as meters. Now we'll have to convert centimeter into meters. Here the conversion factor is one centimeter equal to one over hundred meters. The A part. So fifteen over hundred gives you zero point one five meters. B part 6 over 100 meters would give you 0 0.06 meters. Likewise, we'll do all of them. C part 2 meter, we will not disturb meters. Only 45 has to be converted into meters, that gives you 2.45 meters. Now, the D part. 9 meter 7 centimeter again converting 7 centimeter into meters would give you 9.07 meters the last part the e part 419 centimeters 419 over 100 gives you 4.19 meters so that makes your question number second now we'll have to convert mm into centimeters. So the conversion factor here is 1 mm equal to 1 over 10 centimeters. Therefore A part 5 over 10 is nothing but 0 0.5 or half centimeters. B part 60 over 10 0 0 gets cancelled out it becomes 6 centimeters again writing units respectively here it is 16.4 centimeters just place the decimals correctly and your answers would follow 9 centimeter 8 mm converting 8 mm into centimeters because 9 is already in centimeters that gives you 9.8 centimeter e part 93 over 10 is nothing but 9.3 centimeters. So, 9.3 centimeter. That makes your question number third. Now, meters into kilometer. So, the conversion factor is 1 meter equals to 1 over 1000 kilometer. 
so keeping this in mind we'll do a part so 8 over 1000 kilometer gives you 0 0.008 kilometers again write units b part 88 over 1000 gives you 0 0.088 kilometers C part 4 times 8 that is 8888 over 1000 gives you 8.888 kilometers with this we come to D part 70 kilometer and 5 meters we will not disturb 70 only 5 as it has to be converted into kilometers. So 5 over 1000 would give you 70.005 kilometers. So that makes our question number fourth. Question fifth. Now grams into kg. Here the conversion factor is when we convert grams to kg is 1 gram equals to 1 over 1000 kgs. You have to remember this. So first part, A part, it's 2 over 1000 kg. It is 0 0.002 kgs. B part, 100 over 1000. Two zeros get cancelled out. So you are left with 0 0.1 kg. The C part. 3750 over 1000 would give you 3.750 kgs. D part 5 kg and 8 grams. 8 over 1000, not disturbing 5, would give you 5.008 kgs. Now the last part, that is E part. 26 plus 50 over 1000 gives you 26.050 kilograms.